Okay, it is day one of potty training. My almost four-year-old is up. I'm waiting on my newly two-year-old to wake up. Uh, per the book that we're going by, which is the potty training in three days, uh, we are going to let them wake up for a little bit on the first day and kind of explain the process to them and then jump in and, and just go with it. So I'm really nervous, but I'm really excited. So hopefully in the next hour-ish, we will be officially potty training. Okay, potty training two hour update. So we have had probably like 10 accidents already. Um, we're trying to catch them as soon as they start happening. We haven't actually gotten anything in the potty yet. Um, I think Amelia is starting to grasp the concept. Ethan, not yet, um, but that's what we expected. Ethan, we are getting a little bit of pushback. We're getting a little bit of potty fear, a little bit of like what's going on. Amelia is pretty much just rolling with it. Um, so I, I think after a few days, I can see it being successful with Amelia or at least having major progress made. Ethan is gonna take a little bit longer if things keep going the way they're going, but we're only two hours in. So we have peed, again, probably, probably 10 times on the floor, but um, it's quick and easy cleanup. So it is short-term grossness for long-term gain. So we've got the potty chair, removed the toilet paper, wipes, pee prize, poop prize. Okay, we are officially done potty training day one. The kids are in bed. It went okay. It went about as well as expected and that the kids had no idea what we were asking them to do, didn't seem to understand the concept, um, weren't communicating with us well, and we just changed underwear and cleaned up accidents like every few minutes. Uh, we had to have gone through at least, between the two of them, 30 pairs of underwear, and I don't even know how many accidents we cleaned up. We did towards the end, around dinner time, get some success. We had Ethan do a couple of pees where he started to pee like in his underwear and then we ran him to the bathroom and he finished in the potty. And then he actually did one where he said, pee, potty, and then went to the potty, peed on the potty. So we had one official pee for Ethan, nothing for Amelia. Um, she didn't poop all day, she was definitely holding it. So, as well as expected. We made a little bit of progress, not as much as I was expecting, but it is still just day one. So that's kind of how it went. Okay, again, and this is the book that we are mainly basing it off of. There are a few things that we changed just to fit our family better, but this is the basic guideline that we're following. So I only have not even 24 hours under my belt, but these are my initial thoughts. Um, I do think that regular underwear or like the training underwear over the training diapers or pull-ups makes a lot of sense because the way that the book kind of explained it was they are gonna feel the same. A pull-up and a um, diaper feel the exact same to the kids, so why would they know that there's any difference? That makes sense to me. So definitely I would recommend just going with the like regular cloth underwear. Um, the little potties that you can like place around the house that they can sit on versus the potty seat that goes on your regular potty, we're going with the potty seats. Um, we have one that just like sits on top and then one that attaches to the toilet with little steps. Uh, that also, we were planning on using the little potties and then she's like, why are you gonna train your kid to go on a little tiny version of a potty that they're never gonna find in public that doesn't flush when you're gonna create a fear of the big potty and then you're just gonna have to retrain them for the big potty. And I was like, that also makes sense. But I think the biggest thing is go into it with like the lowest of lowest expectations, if any, because what you have to keep in mind is like these kids, even if you start at two, right when they turn two, that's two years that they're used to going in their diapers whenever they feel like it. And now you're telling them, well, no, don't go in your diaper anymore. Now you have to go in this big white porcelain thing. And you know, you need to tell me when you need to go. They never had to do that before. It's, it's just, they're learning so many new skills and they're learning how to have to listen to their own bodies. And that's a really big deal. So I feel like you need to have, like give them grace and just understand that it's not going to click quickly for everybody. It might, but 
most kids it's not. So I think that really helped me a lot was not getting frustrated and not putting these expectations on them because they're just kids that are trying to learn. And like when you think of it that way, I feel like it's a lot easier to kind of understand when things don't come easy to them and not get upset about it. So just remember that they're just kids, they're learning. So all that being said, um, I'm not looking forward to tomorrow just because it was physically exhausting today. I didn't realize how physically and mentally taxing potty training was gonna be on me. So I'm just not looking forward to that because I'm really tired and I'm just like done. Also my husband and I fought a lot today which we always do, let's be real. But potty training puts a whole nother level of stress on you. So I'm not looking forward to it in that sense. I am looking forward to it in the sense that Ethan had so much success in the last like hour or two that it just kind of made me feel like, look, it's gonna take a little while, but you've got this. Like it will happen, it will come. So wish us luck and I'll let you know how day two goes.